Okay, so this morning here, barricades have been set up outside a lower Manhattan courthouse ahead of a possible indictment of former President Donald Trump. This would be the first ever criminal case against a U.S. president. The decision on whether or not to indict him, though, lies in the hands of a Manhattan grand jury. This centers around a hush money payment allegedly made on his behalf to adult film star Stormy Daniels back in 2016. Daniels was paid $130,000 by former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen. Trump is expected to turn himself in if he is indicted. Now, if that happens, he will be fingerprinted, have a DNA sample taken, get a mug shot, you know, what happens if you were to turn yourself in. So joining from uh, joining us rather from Washington DC this morning to discuss the political ramifications of today's possible indictment, reporter Doug Luzader for us right now. Doug, good morning. Good morning. So, you know, we've actually been wondering for a while now, is this actually going to happen today? But it looks from the video that the barricades are a sign that this actually will. What else do we know? Well, we don't think it's going to happen today. It's always possible. It's always tough to figure out exactly what a grand jury is going to do. But there are some indications that it may not happen today. The former president thought today was the day. But we've also had a source tell us that this same grand jury is actually going to hear from another witness uh, tomorrow, which makes it very unlikely we would see any action today. Now, again, the caveat there is you never know for sure. But everyone is kind of bracing uh, for the possibility, maybe even the likelihood, that the former president is going to be uh, indicted on this charge. Okay, so that's good clarification at least that we could hear, you know, that grand jury is going to hear from another witness. Um, let's start a little though about the impact uh, an indictment could have on his supporters. I mean, you're in D.C. right now. Uh, what kind of statements and preparations are being released in D.C. ahead of any possible protests? Well, look, I think there, there are a, a lot of different ways to, to look at the impact of an indictment on, on the former president. For one thing, it's historic uh, if it happens. We've, we've just never been in this situation before uh, where a former president faces charges, much less a former president who is currently in an election campaign. So it's a very unusual kind of circumstance. There is this theory that the former president may benefit from this, that his supporters or Republicans who might not otherwise support him might still rally the wagons around him, uh, arguing that this is an unjust uh, prosecution. So we'll see. Now, we do know that the former president has, has called for his supporters to protest. Um, there were some protests in New York yesterday, not large uh, and not violent, but there is certainly that, that possibility. So you have folks, uh, law enforcement officials, both in New York and D.C. preparing for that possibility. All right, Doug Luzader reporting live in Washington, D.C. for this morning. Uh, thanks so much. Unprecedented it is one way to put it. Uh, I saw a meme that said, don't you wish we lived in more precedented times? I mean, that would be nice. <laughs> it's it's going to be unusual to watch this play out, that's for sure. Absolutely. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thanks.